Right. Hello, everybody. You're welcome to this um, session on after the after you've won your music bid, what's next? What is next? Right. So we're going to take our time um, to really walk through all the different sections of the Artsplate app. And um, we really want to encourage everybody. Um, thank everybody for taking out time. You know, those of you who registered for this set webinar, um, thanks for coming out. Um, thanks for um, inviting your friends. And if you've not invited your friends, I think this is a good time, you know, to go ahead and do that. And, you know, those people that you've been talking to or they've been asking you questions, I don't understand how does this work? Um, what am I supposed to do? Now's a good time to just share the link. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to drop the invite link um in the chat group um so that it'd be easy for you to just go ahead and share with friends right so we will just um dive right into it and i'm sure a lot of us have been have um one up one remiss. or let me just ask a random number right if you can just you know pull up do a thumbs up or raise your hand, right? If you were here because you actually want to be that you want to know more, or you just really want to know more about the Asplit app. But let's start with those who have um actually placed the bid and they won the bid. So yeah, I've seen this. I did the lack of Koi, but pardon me, if I didn't get your name right. So yeah, so who else is here who's won the bid? All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fantastic. So we have people here who have you know, place bids and they've won, right? But, so is there anybody here? Okay, people are still dropping. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Fantastic, fantastic. Great. So just want to ask now, is there anybody here who has not um, placed a bid before, but you just wanted to understand how the Asplit app works, which was what, what the, which was your inspiration to come in on the platform? So, so, um, a door, Ho ho and will and bont bonto. Okay. Right. Beautiful. 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 All right. So um I'm also assuming now that everybody here on this on this um webinar, you've actually downloaded the Askbit app. Um if you haven't, it's a good time, you know, to just go to the app store. Um, search art splits, download the art splits app. We'll be taking our time to just walk through um all the different sections of the app and um and all the other ways you can actually make money and earn and earn from the Asplit app. Um, there is also a Q&A section. I'm just at the top right, top corner. Um, so feel free to make use of it. Um, you can go there and ask your questions. Or if you are more, if you're a more traditional person using Teams like this, just go to the go to the chat chat section and drop your drop your questions in the chat. And you know, once we run through. Um, what we have to say, we would um, we would take your questions. So, right, thanks to everybody who has you know participated in our little poll, our little um, question and answer. Um, so, I would like us to okay, we can we can lower our hands, let's lower our hands so that um, our, we can distinguish between when somebody wants to ask a question or when um, it's anyone. Anyway. So, if you've raised your hand, you just please go ahead and lower your hands. Thank you. All right, so. Um, to, to kick this off, right, I'm going to, I have my colleague here with me, um, Ibuka. Ibuka actually is the product manager, product marketing manager, product manager. Um, he's going to help, he's going to join us in this section. Yeah, you can see his, um, his fantastic face, right? So he's help, joining us in the session. He's going to walk us through the app. Um, we will be handling this session, um, jointly, um, in case you have any questions, feel free to just drop it in the section, drop it in the chat group. Um, we just want to start this off with, um, the clear understanding of we all know we bought splits, so we paid for splits. And just to set the background and set the tone for this for our conversation tonight, um, we you, you you found out about art splits. You heard it's a great platform to, to um, come in and invest, especially in music or in artworks. You have been you've put in your money, you've invested, you've bought one split, you bought two splits, three splits, um, depending. The auction is over. You've gotten the notification that oh, congratulations. You're, you've won your bid and you're like, okay, I've won my bid. So what else do I do? Where else do I go? Um, what are the other things that are, because oh, it looks like as if the app, we've done this and then the app has, all the excitement is down. No, the excitement actually just started. The fun 
just begun, right? This is, you've just gone the first step of, of your journey into your experience. Um, so we're going to be looking at all the different sections and all the different ways um, in the app that you can actually um, make money and earn on the Aspect app. So I'll hand over to my colleague, Chupe Buka, um, to go ahead and walk us through the different sections on the app where you can actually make money. And please feel free, if you have questions, like I said, just drop it in the chat sections and then we'll take it up. Thanks, Ibuka. Okay, um, just to confirm that everyone can hear me before I get started. Um, Nasa, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so hello everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Chukwe Buka Anene, but you can call me Ibuka. I am the product manager at Artsplit. Um, I'm here today to give us a bit of background to this conversation and then carry us forward in terms of what is obtainable in the app and what you can do post the live auction period, which has just passed, which of course is was signified by the end of the music split auction. So generally people would have the question saying, I mean, art splits, I mean, there's art and then there's splits. What is this about? Well, um, Artsplit is a platform that really just allows um, individuals from different areas and cadres of life, um, different areas of life to invest in prestigious and investment grade um, artwork. Now, what is special about Artsplit is that it doesn't require you to have all of the money in the world. You can get started with as low as one dollar on some of our assets, growing as high as 3.3, .3, which so far has probably been the highest so far. And so what this does is that it gives an entry into this um, into this area of investing in art um, and gives an entry to the, the mass markets rather than just restricting it to um, HNIs and individuals that would originally be able to afford to buy this um, in its totality, right? And so in, in, for, for, I just wanted to talk about this uh, just to give us a bit of context before we move deep into it. Now, recently, um, due to, of course, popular demand and trends in the markets, we have decided to introduce Music Split, which is a different asset class on the on the um, application that, of course, would hopefully, for for, the, for because of the nature of the assets, um, provide a bit more um, popularity and a bit more um, familiarity for the users because we all play music, we all understand music, but what we don't understand is that with art splits now, you don't just have to listen to music, you can actually invest in some of these songs and earn while you're listening to music. Right, so that being said, I'll then go straight into what is obtainable inside the app in terms of the different sections. Now, um, primarily, um, art splits is divided, you know, into three very broad, um, three very broad sections. So we have the primary market, we have the secondary market and we have the timeline. These are three very, very broad um, sections in which um, um, these assets uh, you can enjoy uh, ad splits for what it is. So when I say the primary markets, I'm talking about where you have the live options, such as the one that just um, closed. So what happens in the primary markets is that these works from different artists are listed and they are, their value is divided into 100,000. So that way, you can choose to buy one unit at a particular value in order to earn when this artwork or this asset for what it is enters into the secondary market. Now, together with having this live auction for the splits, now these 100,000 units in which the value of the assets are divided are called splits. So for each one you buy, you're buying a split of either that artwork or the music project. Now, um, together with this live auction, especially for the artwork, we also have something called the lease auction, where an, an individual or you know whoever can actually decide to you know have ownership, physical ownership of that particular artwork over a period of time. And there is an auction for this in which, as long as you bought a unit and won the bid for that particular artwork, you earn each time it's leased on art splits. Now. No, now we're already getting into, you know, the different avenues where you can earn from. So starting from um, the primary markets, you can already start earning money, especially for the artworks, because you can't lease music projects. So for the artworks, you can already start earning from the lease of that artwork. So of course, the higher the number of splits you buy, the more you earn from the lease. Now moving forward into the secondary markets, right? That is where the bids and the splits that you already, the bids and the splits that you already won um, during the live auctions, you can then go and either offer to sell them to other users on the app or decide to keep them in your portfolio 
for them to keep increasing in value over a period of time. And so we'll definitely get, have a deep dive into the dynamics in the secondary markets and some of the things that might contribute to the values changing and how you can actually leverage this and take advantage of it in order to grow your portfolio and earn more money on the platform. Now, outside of the secondary markets, we also have a social side of the app that doesn't necessarily uh, that doesn't necessarily involve transactions. So we have a timeline where you can actually post your activities. It could be activities from how you've been able to take advantage of the secondary markets or primary market by placing bids, buying bids, leasing auctions, or general activities out there related to maybe attending art, art events, painting if you're an artist. I mean, you never know. It's a very robust timeline. And so people can actually see some of your works or some of the things or some of the activities you carry out, reach out to you in order to either you know, you know, take advantage of some of the services you provide or just a general interest in the kind of um, maybe paintings or the kind of events you um, you uh, attend. Now, apart from the primary, secondary and um, secondary market and the timeline, we also have an open market for the art book where people are encouraged to go in, people that want to have ownership of particular artworks. Now, these are high value investment grade artworks that have a certificate of authenticity. So we're talking about artworks that are not replicated, original copies from artists. So you can go into the open market and buy this. Um, so we also encourage if you're an artist, do sign up, um, create your artist account, feel free to make a listing and Hopefully, you never know, uh, you might have the opportunity to have your work spots. Um, so now, talking about the avenues on the app where you can earn money from. So I'll get started from the primary markets, right? In the primary markets, what start, What happens is an asset moves into the primary markets and people place bids. Now, for artwork, after the bids are placed for the 100,000 splits that are available, that artwork immediately is leased to either an individual or whichever party is interested in having ownership of it for a period of either one year or two years. Now, depending on the number of splits you've bought, if you bought a lot, if you bought 100, if you bought the whole 100,000 or you won the whole 100,000 splits, it means that as soon as it's leased, all of the money from the lease definitely comes to you because what that means is that you own 100,000 units. It means it is your artwork and somebody is just trying to borrow it from you uh, for a period of time. So you earn from there. Now for music, now you buy splits in the music split, uh, in music splits auction. What happens is that after the auction period, these songs actually go live on different streaming platforms. We're talking YouTube music, Apple music, Spotify, Audio Mac, uh, up on all of the you know very popular streaming platforms you know out there and as we know and of course a lot of us would be wondering sometimes how do these artists make all of the money they make most of this money is actually gotten from different streaming platforms in which their songs are listed and so what happens is that being an investor generally in the music projects you now own part of it and what owning part of it means is that while those songs are performing well on the streaming platforms or they are getting the thousands and millions of streams, you are assured by that at the end of the month, whatever income that comes from the streaming, um, from the streaming, which the general term to refer to this income is royalties, whatever income that comes with it will definitely be redistributed based on the number of splits you bought while that project was in the primary markets. Right. So that is a way that music splits can allow you to earn. Now, outside of just earning um, when these songs are in the streaming platforms, you can always earn by going into the secondary market and trying to trade. Now, we can go into the secondary market on the app, search for the continental playlist, which is the work that just left the primary market. Right. Search for the continental playlist, and you can either trade by setting a limit price, which is the price that you want to sell the splits that you have if you already bought splits in the primary market, or you can choose to buy at the market price. Of course, in the, in the secondary market, you can always see what the market price for a particular asset is, um, is at the moment, right? Now you can either do that, of course, if you so that's if you already have splits. But if you don't already have splits and you want to also buy into, you can either buy again at a limit price. You can offer to buy the the splits that people already want from the primary market by placing the limit price that can then match the different offers that people are, are willing to sell their own assets in the primary market. You can either do that or also choose to you know buy at at the market price at that very time. 
So these are the different ways in the markets through which you can actually earn from um, you know using ad splits, right? Now another solid way of earning money, which is actually very very lucrative, is that at the end of every month, whatever um, your wallet balance of the um, of the of your wallet is, so whatever your wallet balance is, you earn an interest, and this interest is an accumulation of 2.5 percent per annum in dollars, right? So every month, based off of your wallet balance, you earn an interest on the money. So this is something that is constant. All you have to do is just stay active on the app. You can either come, use the timeline, place a bid, but your rest assured that at the end of the month, you're always going to be earning an interest that will amount to 2.5% per annum. So what that means definitely is that more, the more money, of course, the more dollars, now we're not talking now, the more dollars you have on the platform, the more your potentials to earn you know, in foreign currency at the end of every month. And it's like clockwork. On the second of every month, I'm smiling because I get this interest paid into my wallet. So these are these are particularly the different ways, of course, as investors, you can earn on the platform, right? Of course, as an artist who, you know, who has kind of created a bit of authenticity for themselves and has balls in the market and everything, we can always have the conversation of, how you can participate in art split and as an artist, apart from just listing in the open markets, which of course would always be um, subject to review by our curatorial board to ensure that these assets are actually up to what people are willing to invest in out there. So there's always an open conversation on how we can collaborate with more artists out there. But for now, your friend is the primary market where you can buy, buy splits of artwork and earn from the lease auctions, secondary markets where you can earn, whether you already won splits from the primary market or not, by, of course, placing buy or sell offers in the secondary market. And then, of course, this 32.5% per annum interest that comes to your wallet every month, you can always count on that. So no matter what it is, our platform would always give you something to smile, you know, to smile from at the end or the beginning of every month. So, yeah, that's the basics, um, you know, of what we offer. You know, in ad splits, of course, I'll be on standby to take any questions from anyone. Um, but I think uh, my colleague Chinaza has a few things that he may, may want to demonstrate to you. So you can take a look and see how these things actually work. Now, after that demonstration, we will definitely take any questions you have. And we're always on standby for you to reach out to us outside of these webinars and calls. So thank you very, very much, everyone, for listening. Again, my name is Chukwe Bukanene. Ibuka for short and product manager at Artspeeds. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ibuka. So interestingly, I, I, I just want to do a, a bit of recap, right, on some of the things that you said and you pointed out. Like the different, for me, in my head, I just looked at there were a couple of key places and key portions where people can easily earn money, where at the end of the month, you are sure that, or maybe at the end of a certain period, you are sure that you your account is, you'll be getting notification of credit alerts, credit alerts, credit alerts. Number one is when you bought um, music splits, if you have music splits in your in your portfolio, once the music is being, once the songs are being streamed on all the platforms and the artists get royalties, those royalties are then shared amongst all of us who have splits. It's like saying we all are part owners of the song. So we all own the song. We all are in, we're in local parlance and saying, now we get them, right? So it's all our property. The song is, doesn't belong just to the artist. The song now belongs to all of us who have actually um, bought splits. So similarly, even when, if it, when it's artwork, um, if you, if you, like in the, in the month of March, there are going to be, there's going to be, um, new there's going to be a new auction that's going to be announced right and if you go into the auction and then you actually buy splits to own a piece of those artworks when those artworks are being leased out because we don't keep them you know there are other those artworks on their walls so but they they will they can actually go into the auction to lease those artworks when they lease those artworks they are like saying the people who own these artworks come and borrow us the artwork which is the lease and the amount they pay all of us that have that own a split of those artworks get a share of that of, the, of that artwork. So it's a very fantastic sharing economy um, where you own and then you can you 
getting you're getting earnings every period or every month if it's royalties and then just like you also said there's the interest on the wallet balance i think that's totally fantastic um when you put your money in there when it's dollars imagine earning interest in dollars um and knowing in our knowing how your money is being how your money grows you know on 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 a month on month basis so that's a fantastic fantastic point um so i think what what the next thing that we're going to do we will walk through this together um is how people can actually place or trade or do, do buy and sell right on if they want to buy because that's the next area you mentioned the next area mentioned was the secondary market where they can actually go into the secondary market and either place an offer to buy on an offer to sell. Um, so I think I'll just share screen on my phone, right? And then we'll just take a look at the at the secondary market, and then we could just walk through. We need, we need to take let's take a little bit a little bit time, a bit more time here um, to can can we actually um, how exactly can we um, place a buy offer on the secondary market? Yeah, just okay. Well, so while this is trying to come on. While this is trying to come on, okay. well, we we'll just we we'll just we we'll just go ahead, right, and take a look at the secondary market. If you have your phones, of course, you can you can go you can open like I like I said at the beginning of the this session. If you've not downloaded the Asplit app, it will be great to be a great opportunity to really go now and you know actually download um, download the app on the App Store. Um, so if you if you have your phones, you can take a look at the secondary market. Secondary market is the trade button at the at the lower part. The second at the lower part is the second. There's a second um, second icon there. It's called trade. So trade is the area where you have. Um, the secondary markets is where I have secondary markets. So all the, you see, look at it, you see a lot, a lot of artworks and the artists, and then the amount of units that are available. So you see here on that there's a split contract um, with artworks, artworks, then units, then it's showing trend and value. So the artworks in this case, um, even if you scroll down to the bottom end, at the end, the last one, the last one, see playlist by King Perry, right? Continental playlist by King Perry, which is the music split that just concluded. Um, it has 18 units. Um, if the trend has a green line that is that is straight, which means it's it's new. It just came into the market, so it's still having a straight line. There's no it hasn't there's no loss. There's there's no really appreciable gain, but it's green, so it means that it's actually gaining, right? So it's green, um, straight line, and then the value is 3.37. Um, for for those of us who remember, the value here is three point three seven. But if you remember, how much was it when we actually bought it? It was three point three three. So already there has been a zero point zero four dollar increase in the price, right? So on our talk, the the music split that we bought in the auction at three point three three is now already three points. Um, three point three seven. So that already is an appreciable amount of increase. Um, for for, for all of us. Um, so taking a look, so let's 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 look at the continental playlist, right? We if you click on continental playlists um, from the top. So from the top, um, what we can easily and readily see is the artwork. And there we have charts. We have trades, we have preview, we have info, and we have history, right? So charts in this, in this, in the charts, of course, charts is showing the trend and the trajectory. Um, it's a new artwork, it's a new piece of artwork, hasn't really come in so much. Um, so you as, as time goes on, we begin to see more of the trends and how it how it evolves um from stage to stage. Right. Um
Then the next section we see is trades. Trades in this case now is looking at all the different offers that have been made, both ask and bid. So ask is, is saying for people who are willing to sell, how much they are willing to sell the splits that they have had. You know, so we see somebody, you see the first ask is 3.6. So someone is saying, if you want to buy splits, I'm willing to sell it at $3.60, um, right? Or somebody else is willing to sell at um, $5.55. Someone is willing to sell at $10. Someone is willing to, willing to sell at $25, someone is willing to sell at $50, someone wants to sell at $100, and somebody, interestingly, wants to sell at $10,000, right? So it splits you bought at $3.33. Somebody here is willing to sell it, wants to sell it at $10,000. Good luck to that person. <laughs> I don't know who is willing to buy your $3.33 bought of splits at $10,000, but hey, well, that it's, I, 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 wish, I wish the person all the best. Right, so um, the units means how how many units they're willing to sell at that price, and then the total value is how what's the total value of course, which is the number of the value multiplied by the number of units. Um, the bids now is looking at how many the bids looking at who are those of us that want to buy more, right? So there, yeah, um, I, I just I just heard about the secondary market. Um, I just heard about music splits, and I want to I want to purchase it all. Uh, I bought the unit. I bought the splits. Um, and I think I really need to get more. I bought just one split because I was testing it out. Uh, I want to buy more. So now all these bits are, are speaking to the different, how much people are willing to buy splits. So some people are willing to buy it at $3.33. Someone buy it at $3.25. Someone buy it at $3.20. Someone wants to buy it at $2.50. Someone wants to buy it at $2. Someone buy it at $1.50. Someone buy it at $0.5, right? You want to buy a split of three dollar thirty three cents at zero five cents or fifty cents. Well, if there's someone that's willing to sell, fine. The person. So of course, this is a trade. It's you. Um, you you make you make your you make your you make your offer, and if there's somebody who is willing to to take up take you up on your offer, of course, then the trade happens. Um, so that that's speaking to the trade section. Um, then the preview, of course, because this is the continental playlist, because this is music, um, there's the preview section, which allows you to actually listen to um, um, snippets of the song. Um, then if you look at info, of course, info now speaks to um, the market value, current, current market value, which is $3.33, available units. So we see we have just 18 available units. I remember um, once it came on the secondary market, I think last week, it was about 27 units um, or, or 20, 28 units, but nice 18 units means that units are moving as quickly as, as fast as possible. Um, if you still want to get on get on the music space, I think it's a good time to go there and place an offer. So now you ask, how then do I place an offer? How then do I, um, if I want to buy more, or if I want to buy splits, I have I don't have any music split speed, and I'm interested in actually um, getting more splits, especially when royalties are going to be paid, right? How do I how do I actually go ahead and buy splits? Now, going back to the either on the chart or any section, you see at the lower part there's the analysis and then there's buy and sell. So if you just click on buy and sell, buy buy comes out. So if you are of course if you want to buy, you click on buy. But if you want to sell, you can also click on move move the swipe swipe um, left right swipe right to sell. But let's say you want to buy right. So swiping um, we're looking at buy. So there's buy which is the limit price. Limit price, like um, Jimmy Book has said, limit price is the the price that you want to, the how much you actually want to buy that art that artwork. And if I, for the sake of this argument, I hope we're all looking at our phones. Um, so say I I want to buy this music split speed. Um, what's the limit price I want to set? Which is the particular price I want to set for this? I can say I want to I want to buy it at um one dollar for the sake of this conversation, right? I want to buy it at one dollar. How many number of units? I say one unit, for instance. So my total will be one unit. Um, then I click on the acknowledgement. Then I click on buy. Um, and then it gives me my summary. Place a buy offer. Um, and I click. Okay, let you know what. For the sake of this conversation, I want so that I can show us us very well. Let me look for. Okay, yes. Oh, one dollar is actually good. I wanted to show us um, use a price that is not. Is not in the range of bids that we have currently, so that when I put it, we would see we we'll see the difference. So let me do it again. Um, so click buy. Um, limit price. I want to buy it at one. Let me see one dollar 
$1.20. So I'm buying at $1.20. Number of units is one. Um, take this notes and then, and then I click buy. So I see my notification says, yay, you know, I've received it. Now, if you go to the trade section on the, on the on the under continental playlist, you see at the bottom, there's already 1.2. So it means that I've already initiated an offer to buy a split at $1.20. At $1.20. So that's how much I am willing to buy a split. So if there's somebody out there who has music splits bid, uh, music splits, any of the splits, and is willing to sell, I want to sell it up at $1.20. I'll, I'll be available to pick up at least one split, right? So that's how we go and you place an offer to buy to actually get a split. But when we're talking about earning, there are ways where you can. Um, you can now sell some of the splits that you've gotten. Maybe you want to sell the splits that you've got and then go into the sell, um, sell, right? Then um, I put a limit price. So just like I did earlier, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick, I'm going to sell at a price that is not on the, on under the trade section that is not in an offer so that we see how, how the app works. So I think, okay, I can place a sell offer for $4. There's nothing for $4 now. All right. So I click on sell, um, sell limit price, Cost limit price, um, sell at four dollars. One unit, I want to sell a unit, and then I click sell. Right, gives me all the whole information, and then it's done. And then you can see it if you're looking at your app, you can see it with the second line. You see four dollars already. I have indicated that I want to sell a split for four dollars. So if somebody is out there and then he wants to own the splits. Um, who wants to own a split of a music split bid? He can actually now go out. And if you if you, if you look down, remember when we when I was looking at when we we're talking about music splits, I said there were only eighteen units available. There were eighteen units available. Now we have nineteen units available. The nineteenth unit that just came in is my offer that has come into the come into the market. So because now what the app is saying that I've I've offered to sell. So the app is telling people, oh, we now have more units to sell. So the more people want to sell, right, the more it's available for everybody to actually buy um, buy from the secondary market. So um, let, let me ask a question to my colleague, Chukwe Buka. You know, one question that, you know, a lot of some, some users have asked at different points in time is that they've asked, okay, so right now I have placed my, I, 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 want, I, want, to, I want to buy, right? I, I want to buy, the splits, right? And I'm I said, okay, I'm willing to buy the split at one dollar, just like I did one dollar twenty cents. I can see is it does it does the money move out of my wallet balance or does my money go or do I lose money or does it, how how does it work? Do, do does my money leave my account? Um pending when and there's what if nobody my money leave my account and then there's nobody available to actually buy those splits for me for me to get my money. What happens? Okay, yeah, thanks for the question. And this is a question that we've gotten a lot of time. So when you go into the primary market and you place a buy offer, what the system does is that the, the, the amount of money that is required to be paid to whoever in the system, you know, uploads a sell offer that matches your buy offer is blocked. Now, it is your money, it stays in your wallet. However, it is reserved for that particular trade. Of course, at some point, you can change your mind on you know whether you want to continue with that trade or not however while the trade is still active and while you have placed that buy offer the money remains with you however it is reserved until there is a matching ask or, or sorry a matching sell offer in the secondary markets and when that happens automatically the trade is conducted and those funds are moved to the other um to the other user who has um you know whose sell offer has been fulfilled by your buy offer. So the money doesn't disappear. We don't take the money. It is just reserved for the trade. Yeah, so, but once it's reserved, it means I cannot use it for anything else. Of course, it's reserved for that <laughs> trade until the trade is completed. Fantastic. Fantastic. So another question a lot of users always ask, and I, I said when people ask this, when when you, you say, okay, I have to sell. Sorry, um, Nazar, there when is a question. Do, what is... There's a okay, question there's... in the comment section. The comment section. Oh, fantastic. Yes, there's a question from Sheon. Sheon's question is this. How does app split? So please, Sheon, it is art splits, A-R-T-S-P-L-I-T, art splits, right? So how does art splits perform, platform 
gets the royalty to be shared to investors. So the question is, is this royalties from the artist after, after receiving income directly or from the streaming platforms? Also, how are the music attributions collected across platforms? So thank you very, very much uh, for that question, Sean. You need to you need to know, oh, that's fine. Oh, that's totally fine. You're allowed, you're allowed to make some mistakes. <laughs> so um, you need to understand that between us and these artists, um, between us and these artists, um, Richard says he can't view anything here. So um, you can you can maybe um, maybe reach out to him and know what what how we can help him. Okay, so between Art Split and this artist, we have a very very solid agreement on how this income flows. Now, um, on the technical side of things, we are, there are actually dashboards that are available for us to monitor how this um, how these music projects are performing across all of the streaming platforms where across all of the streaming platforms where they are listed. And so with these dashboards, we're able to tell their performance. Oh, Michael says he can't hear anything from his end. Sorry. Please, um, I, I, hope, I just hope everyone else can hear because I'm not sure. Yeah, I can doing. hear you. So if you can hear me, it means I feel like other participants can hear. So probably a technical problem from from okay cool from so other people can hear yes. okay so as i was saying right we have dashboards and technologies that allow us to monitor the performance of these music projects across all streaming platforms and with this monitoring of their performance we are able to tell exactly how much they are making from the streaming platforms and this is how we are able so as soon as the funds come um, everyone, including the artists, gets their share of it. And by everyone, I mean us that are investors in this music project. So it is shared amongst everyone immediately. So it doesn't get to the artists and then trickles down to us. It's a process that happens straight from the streaming platforms, gets to our dashboard, we redistribute, and then everyone is happy at the end of the day. So we're able to definitely monitor their performance. Um, sorry, Michael, everyone else can hear. Maybe you want to um, maybe you want to yes. take a look at your audio on your end. It's probably a technical issue, so um, try try to get that figured out. Uh, so yes, so it is quite simple. We're able to we're able to um, we're able to monitor the performance of all of the all of the songs and the music projects on the different streaming platforms with what with pieces of technology that we use for this, and by that. We can always accrue the income and distribute to our investors, investors including everybody who has a share in the music project. I hope that answers your question, Shion. Um, yeah, so, yeah, excellent, Shion. Thanks. Um, so, Nasa, please, you can continue. All right. Cool. So, um, the question I wanted to ask is, in 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 looking at in looking at how um, we sell splits and you sell splits at different points in time. The question now is, when is now the best time to actually sell a split? How do I know when I should sell a split? Is there any metric I should pay attention to when I need to sell a split or buy at different points in time? What, what should be my indicator to know when to buy or when to sell? Okay, um, thank you again for that question. Right, so a lot of, a lot of it has to do with the kind of individual it is, right? Now, right at the moment, using the music split that just ended as, uh, as an example, we know how much we bought the splits uh, for the music split, and now it has added in the markets um, to up to 0 0.04. Now, a lot of people can choose to um, sell at this point. However, we would definitely tell you that it's not the best time. 0 0.04 is not the most you can earn from the uh, music project. So um, over, over the coming months, you're going to be earning from streaming income. Um, you know, and other sources, including your wallet balance and so on. Now, you can decide at any point to set a limit price in the secondary markets to sell. You can decide to sell at four dollars now. If you, if the, of course, if there is a matching, if there is a matching buy offer, you're definitely going to be able to sell. But we encourage that. Look, this is an asset you have, and it's a lifetime ownership of this asset. And so, while it is on the platform, it is yours. It is in your portfolio. You would always 
be able to earn from it, right? But if you choose at any point, following an increase in the market value, you could see a potential increase in the market value and decide, oh, okay, I feel like this is a good time to sell. Definitely feel free to sell at that point. Um, but the encouragement is that, you know, buy more splits. More splits will definitely encourage you or enable you to earn a lot more from the streaming income at the end of the month. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. So just like we said earlier, right, you guys, if you have any more questions, just go ahead and drop them in the um, drop them in the chats. We'll take them. We have a couple more questions, but we also also are very conscious of time. Um, we don't want this to take too long. We just want to quickly run through all the questions. And so please, if you have questions, our advice, we just drop these questions on the chat group um, so that we can quickly take them and at least know all that we have um, all that we have right now to be able to address. OK, so I also ask you, right? Um, um, if can someone wants asked really, can they really withdraw from their portfolio balance, right? They, there's, they've see, you see two sections, there's the portfolio balance, there's the wallet balance. Why can't I, it should be like, I, it's not a, is it a current and a savings account, right? Or what's, what's the difference between the two, the two of the, the, the two accounts, right? How can I distinguish and how can I access both, okay. um, both, 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 both balances? Okay, excellent. So um, when you come on the app for the very first time, these two balances are zero. You have zero in your portfolio balance and you have zero in your wallet balance. Now, at the point of depositing into your wallet on the app, that deposit goes into your wallet balance. So wallet balance is your money that you can use to perform transactions on the app. And so that is money you can deposit and withdraw at, your, at any time you want. It is the money you use to buy splits. It is the money you use to buy, um, you use to um, trade in the secondary market. Now, when you go into the primary market and place a bid and you win at the end of the auction, that, that asset then goes into your portfolio. So your portfolio really is a collection of all of the assets you have, the value of all of the assets you have. And you cannot directly withdraw from your portfolio. I mean, that would just, that would, that wouldn't, the purpose of a portfolio is actually to, um, you know, stay stored and earn your value over time, right? So you can't directly withdraw from it. However, if at any point, you have a need to get funds from your portfolio balance and so all you can do is go into your portfolio which is available on your account on the app go into your portfolio see the assets you have and you can decide to sell the assets please sell offers based on you can sell you can please sell offers based on the available buy offers in the uh, in the primary and secondary markets you can either do that or you immediately sell at the market value market value trades are automatic as soon as it's please um place a trade at market value, it complete, it's automatically, you know, um, completes and the money goes into your wallet immediately. Now from your wallet, you can then withdraw, right? So when you sell assets in your portfolio, it goes into your wallet and you can then withdraw. And a very quick way and another way for you to also introduce your family and friends to AskSplit is to say, hey, guy, you know, I have these assets on AskSplit and I want to sell. Do you know what? Download the app, fund your, uh, fund your wallets, I will place a sell offer at this particular price. And you just, as soon as you place a buy offer, this asset moves into your portfolio and will have completed the transaction. So this is a way that you are able to like settle, um, settle payments with your guys, with your friends, with your family, and so on. So something that's very interesting for us to explain. Wow. So if I'm owing you money, the next time I'm owing you money, I can, I can, I can pay you back. In of course, space. please give me your assets. I'll I'll definitely buy your assets at prices below the market. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. That's that's great. That's great. Um, yeah. so again, you know, you know, you mentioned family and friends. I I I, I thought it would, I think it'd be a good time to also to also um add a bit a bit more light on the referral program that's available available right now where users can actually also earn money from from the app. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, feel free. Um, you know, we have that open apart from all of the other ways we've mentioned that you can earn. We have a referral program where you actually earn from bringing people into the app. So the more you refer, you're definitely going to be earning more as you refer as, as long as you know they remain active on the platform and are transacting, you're earning money on the side and so on. So, yes, definitely feel, you know, feel free to earn from that as well. 
if you're if you're able to do that. So introduce that split to your family and friends. It's a great place to be. It's a great place to also make some money. So please. Fantastic. All right. So um I I, I just check again. I can't see any more um questions. Can't see any more questions on the chat. Right. But irrespective, guys, we are we're still available. Um I would also drop the link to our Telegram community. Um, if you are not, if you are not on Telegram, right, or if you are not part of our Telegram community, right, you can always come in there and share and ask more questions. We will also be available to answer any questions. We're, we're looking to have these sessions as frequently as possible, where we will come and update um, you, our users, of different and more exciting ways we can actually make. And especially, you know, you can take our time to be able to look at trade reports. How is the market doing? What are the things that we need to pay attention to in the market at this time? Um, are there particular artworks that are doing so well that you want to look at? Um, for instance, if you look at the secondary market, there are artworks that are really scaling high, that are really appreciating. Um, how do you get involved? What are the things that you want to do? And how do you begin to um, look at other aspects and other, other possibilities on the Asplit app? So we will be having this, this sessions more often. So I don't know if you, if you didn't register, please go ahead. Um, Register so that we can get your details and then we can also have further correspondence in the future. I'd um, like to encourage everybody, um, feel free, go follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, TikTok. We're on TikTok. You know, feel free to follow us on all our social media platforms, engage with us. We are always available to answer to answer all your questions and to follow, and also engage back, right? Um, like I said, Telegram is there. And then if you have actually um if you have actually followed and bought a split on on um on the music splits bit with, with King Perry. We actually have a surprise, right? But I think I'm just going. I'm just going to let it out now. We're going to keep it down for a bit longer. Um, we are trying to create some kind of unique community where we are going to be sharing particular information that will be useful for only the people that bought speeds, people that own key, uh, part of King's Paris investors, right? So um, it's it it is a is a it's a is a closed WhatsApp group. So I just want to. I'm going to just put the link here because I think um, most of us here are probably here because we wanted to be a part of this. So um, if, you, if you want to just continue to get first-hand information of what are the things that are going on with King Perry's music, with the Continental playlist that you've invested in, um, how do you want to, um, what has it doing on streaming platforms like Shimon asked, um, is it, what, what's, what's, what's the latest, what is the latest information about Continental playlist that is available out there? We would be pushing those information first to those guys on on this group before we we'll probably consider you know sharing it out to the public because this is a close group of investors and well, probably fans and investors of um King Paris Continental Police. So feel free um join the join the WhatsApp group. Um, it's just it's just an information base. So for, trust me, nobody's going to be there to be discussing and sending you any kind of information. It's just strictly to share information of what exactly is happening on the continental playlist. So I really want to appreciate everybody. Thank you so much, Chukwe Buka. Thanks, thanks a lot for coming out. Um, I don't know, the color is not good, but I think we're wearing the same shirts, like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, so thank you so like much. Thank shirts. you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate um, you coming out to do this. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. So it was for, a pleasure. Yeah. It was a pleasure to yeah. engage in this conversation. and. Uh, I mean, um, it's it, we're also trying to build a lot of um, engagement and trust for our, for our platform, and it's good for someone who um, you know who actually is in the frontier of the developments, uh, such as myself, to come in here and explain a few things to you for you to understand that we're taking this very seriously, and you, you know your investment, your portfolio, and your wallet is very very safe because you can put a name to who is working on what you're using, so that if at any point you can come and look for me or not. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, you're, true, you're, true. It's, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to yeah. to have joined the section and talk to everyone. And uh, hopefully, um, you join the next one. And um, by the time we gather more questions from users, we'll definitely perform another um, webinar and um, we'll exactly. interact a lot more with you. So thanks, thanks everyone. So all right, thanks everybody. Thanks guys. Have a great, great evening. Take care.
Bye.